I'm uh, sitting on my ass here today because I broke mine. <laughs> I broke my hip, so I'm um, kind of uh, not working with both <laughs> hips right now. <laughs> but I'm almost well. I can just about throw these crutches away in another couple weeks. I'll, I'll be dancing. So watch out. Yeah. So that all the dance moves that you're accustomed to see me doing uh, tonight will not happen. I'm sorry. I hate to disappoint you, but thank you. Well, I went to Nashville 30 years ago. From Oklahoma I walked away from rock and roll to get my honky tonk diploma I was hungry young and hungry and I was looking for an offer Miss Loretta Lynn she took me in that sweet coal miner's daughter but she never did do one of my songs. One day she sent me down and she said, Now, darling, she said you should hang around with guys like Holyfield and Harlan. Now, let me tell you who I'm talking about when I say Holyfield and Harlan. Because that's Loretta said, said, Verlin, you need to hang around with Holyfield and Harlan. And... The reason she said that is because Holyfield, Waylon Holyfield, was a great, is a great songwriter, but when I was brand new to, to the town, Waylon was on a hot streak, and he had written a bunch of big hits. Uh, Waylon wrote songs like, uh, Could I have this dance for the rest of my life? So he had had a string of hits like that, and uh, and then uh, when she said Harlan, she had Holyfield and Harlan. She was talking about another great songwriter by the name of Harlan Howard, and he he wrote uh, he wrote everything else, everything, <laughs> everything that Waylon Holyfield didn't write. Harlan Howard wrote, and that's why Loretta. She set me down and she said, Now, darling, you need to hang around with Holyfield and Harlan. She said they go to lunch and they smoke cigars and they'll drink a glass of brandy. She said they write big hits and they leave big tips and spend their evenings with their family. I'm glad she didn't tell me just how far I had to go. In this show we call the business in this business we call show. So I played at the Hickory Holler Mall and I played at Union Station and I learned to do my little Johnny Cash impersonation and then one night, he walked out of the back. It was him and Miss June Carter. And he walked right through the crowd. He walked through, weaved his way through the crowd, and he walked right up to me. And he looked me right in the eye, and he said, Now, keep in mind, this is Johnny Cash, and right behind him stands Miss June Carter. And he said, Son, I have heard better but not one who tries harder. So I put that in my bio and I told everyone I know. I said, man, I'm in this show we call the business. It's a business we call show. Wayland that introduced me to a Mr. Jimmy Gilmer of the Fireballs. 
And together they convinced me that I could do it all. Yeah, but later it would come to pass that I could not play that part. Cause I just could not kiss nobody's ass to get my records on the charts. She listens by the radio And I say, Mama, it's just a show we call the business It's just a business we call show So here's to all my music brothers and my music sisters too Here at home and on the road This one goes out to you When the print gets fine on the bottom line Don't y'all give away your souls To this show we call the business To this business we call show It's just a show we call the business y'all it's just a business we call show.